What's up guys, Black Hole Zero and welcome back to another video and today we're back on Pro Cycling Manager 2018 for the 6th stage of the Dauphiné Libéré between saint ville bas de lin and the Saint-Michel de Maurienne uh, 230 kilometers of mountains today uh, not a day for the faint-hearted but um, if you haven't seen yesterday's video you may want to check it out uh, just, yeah, do it, it it's a friendly advice um, but yeah, Juan Barguil is still in the race, so with that in mind, let's try to win. And we're on the way for the sixth stage of the Dauphiné Libéré. Barguil is on a zero. Not good. Well, not great, but could have been worse. Um, six, uh, sorry, 76, 75 uh, are his stats for today. Um, we're immediately going to send everyone to the front. Um, let's take a look at the GC. With Chris Froome still leading from Tom Dumont, Michal Kutkowski, Jakob Fulsong, and Thibaut Pinot, Warren Bargill is in 13th place. Knowing that some of the guys in the top 10 are most likely going to get dropped. Um, I mean, that's what I'm hoping for. Um, we're going to stop pacing. Uh, however, we're going to send someone in the breakaway. Ideally, I was going to send De La Place. Uh, and I guess that's still what I'm going to do. Alright, let's send... What do you mean, Delantus is attacking, man? You're, you're, you're 12th in the GC! You can't do things like that. Like, just, no, just that's that's not allowed. Is the person actually gonna let Dylanstons go? go? My French accent is on a mad one today. Okay. Uh, I'm really scared. Nathan Elberan trying to make a move as well. The new uh, mountain uh, jersey, the new wearer of the uh, mountain jersey. Yeah, they're letting Dylan Tunes. Okay. Well, that's weird. Uh, but let's see if the breaker can make itself a gap. Alright, sit rep. With uh, just under 200 kilometers to go, we have a 12 man breakaway with Stephen Cummings for Dimension Data, Zander Armé for Lotto Soudal. Uh, he's not, well, I think he's like. In the last four riders, yeah, last four riders for uh, for his team. Same goes for um, for Ruben Guerrero, I think, who's like the last one of the last four for Katusha. Yep. Uh, we also have uh, Alexandre Nez for Rage de la Mondiale. We've got Anthony de la Place for Arca Samzeg, Pierre Roland for uh, Vital Concept, Michael Cherel for Rage de la Mondiale, Nicholas Egg for Trek Sigafredo, Simon Clark for EF Education First, Zanderarm, I've already said him. Um, Serge Powells for CCC, Guillaume Martin for uh, Wanty Group Gobert and the main guy, 12th of the GC, Dylan Tunes for Bahrain Merida. We have 5 minutes, um, well, 5 minutes is the lead the breakaway has over the peloton. Peloton uh, slowly paced by Martin Vinance, uh, teammate of Steven Kroivak, and Oliviero Troyer, who's pacing for Dan Martin. Yep, Dan Martin. Alright, we're in this in uh, the first second category climb of the day, the uh, Col de la Chambotte, 5.8 km with an average gradient of 7.4. Um, I hadn't seen one guy in the breakaway. Um, well, I mean, I saw them all, but there was one guy I didn't know if, like he was in the contention for the mountain classification. Guillaume Martin, the best climber of the bunch, is in the breakaway with nine points uh, for the mountain, well, for the KOM classification. 9 points with also what I have with Anthony de la Place, so I don't know how I'm gonna manage to like beat him or beat anyone else because uh, they're all better than me mountain wise in this breakaway and that's not fun that really isn't fun so and I mean I know that they're all gonna attack me so yeah not fun um, still we're gonna pace with de la Place I guess uh, Okay, there's the attack. Zander Army, followed by Guillaume Martin. We're gonna try and jump in his wheel, even if it's gonna be hard for Anthony de la Place. But he needs to hold on. He needs to hold on to the wheel of the Vanti Group Gobert rider. The, um, what, I think 20th, last 20th place for the Tour de France last year. Not sure. Um, okay, de la Place, now you need to pace. You need to give it all you have. Everything you've got. Everything you've got, well, apparently, yeah, he's got nothing. He's got nothing. Michael Cheryl got dropped. Uh, solid. Okay. 
That was worth five points. Really? That was only worth five points. Raw. Okay. Second climb of the day. La Côte de la Chat. Uh, no, D Côte de la Chat. Sorry. No. Oh, yeah. Um, much easier for someone like de la Place to get points. Somehow. Not gonna get any. Uh, still stuck on nine. Yep. Still stuck on nine points. Guillaume Martin is making a massive move towards this uh, this jersey of a uh, of mountain leader. We've got another climb. Uh, Col du Fresne. 1.8 km to go. It's a fourth category climb. Uh, it's an actual hill. And Jesus Christ, Dylan Tones, could you like slow down? Can I catch up, please? Thank you. Attacked by Dylan Tones. Dylan Tones is gonna get points because he's the strongest out of everyone here. Um, unless Guillaume Martin overtakes him, which he won't. Nearly did, though. Uh, but he won't. Okay. Guillaume Martin is only. Two points away from the jersey, De La Place started with nine points, is currently on nine points. Yeah, you guessed it. We're on a good day today. Um, okay, well, uh, things have gone a bit interesting. Uh, Greipel was meant to give the guys water, suddenly felt the urge to taste the tarmac in France. Why is everyone in Bora slowing down? Who fell? Because Bora... Are you taking the piss? If they're waiting for Sam Bennett, I'm actually going to be pissed. They're waiting for Sam Bennett. Wow. Geoffrey Soup. Oh, that's another guy from Coffee Dis retiring. Solid. Um, I completely forgot about the breakaway, but you know what? Who cares? Um, are the Bora guys here? Yeah. So, the Bora strategy is to wait for Sam Bennett in a stage where you have Emmanuel Buchmann. Mm hmm. Interesting, really interesting. Uh, I don't know who got the points for this climb, uh, but we're soon gonna see if um, if Martin got any, because he was on 17. Um, oh wow, that's a that's a proper climb. Jeez, All right. Uh, de la Place coming through and uh, waiting, 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 attacking. There you go. That's perfectly time attack to uh, be probably fifth for this climb. Right now, hey, I'm standing in 5th position. Can I overtake Pierre Roland? Yes. No. No, I said 5th. I don't want to be 6th or 7th or 8th. Uh, I've got a lisp. Guillaume Martin is the new mountain leader. And Antonio Laplace has zero energy. Good. Okay, uh, I've decided to drop uh, De Laplace on the breakaway because, I mean, he was going to be absolutely new, no use. Guillaume Martin is just way too good today. He's like on the day of his life. Um, Dylan Tunes gonna get the points though for today, for this climb. Um, oh, that he's on 16. He's had a pretty interesting day. Warren, mate, can you come? Like, can you not? Can you not get dropped? Thank you very much. I swear to God, Warren, if you get dropped, I'm genuinely gonna be pissed. Um, there's been. A massive acceleration in the peloton, um, and Warren has been dropped because he's he's just not strong enough. Um, so I need him. To, I need him to come back like as soon as possible if the rhythm can slow down up front, which thankfully it did. Um, New Alexandre is going to get the points for this climb. Dylan Tunes is going to take second position with Simon Clark said. All right. If Barkel could stay up front, because Tom Dumoulin is the one pacing. No, uh, yeah, no wonder I'm getting dropped. Like Tom Dumoulin is facing on the flats. What, what do you want me to do? Uh, okay. We've made the summit with the breakaway, so that's good. Uh, and we're now six kilometers away from the summit of the Col de Bonne, and I'm not looking forward to it. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to it at all. Uh, Maxime Boy is. You can have like you, you do you, fam. Um, we're gonna have all. Everyone to get water because uh, it, it, it's important to be hydrated. All right, let's wait for the summit, uh, for the climb, and uh, see if we can do something. All right, and we've massively slowed down. We have massively slowed down uh, before the climb, and that led to an attack of Simon Yates, uh, Adam Yates, sorry, immediately right from the get-go. 
Uh, I'm not going to try and follow. I'm going to go to my own rhythm. Uh, sorry if you've been stuck in a tree for like the past minute. Um, but yeah, I don't want to like do any high change of rhythms um, with Warren because I just don't think he can hold on to it. Um, Fugle Song has made a move in the Col de Bonne, uh, five kilometers away from the summit, knowing that there's a massive descent towards the end, and he's making a big move. Um, if we take uh, Chris Froome for example here, yeah. Warren, you're going to try to like navigate throughout this field. Can, can they stop blocking me? Please, like I'm genuinely being blocked now. It's not even that I can't go, it's even if I've got the energy. I'm being blocked. Um, all right, Jakob Pulsang, 36 seconds ahead of the, the yellow jersey group with from Pino, Martin, uh, Bardet, Dumoulin, Yates, Alaphilippe and Kroivak, Reichen Barizer, De Marquis and Warren Barguil. Okay, Warren is slowly coming back. Dan Martin with a massive attack here uh, with Thibaut Pino and Chris Froome can't follow. Chris can't follow. Tom Dumoulin neither. Dan Martin, Thibaut Pino and Jakob Pulsang. That's the group of the Probably the three strongest in this stage. Uh, Warren slowly coming up, do doing what he does best, uh, climbing, because that's the only thing he does. Um, okay. What would happen uh, here? <coughs> It'd be a battle between Fulsang and Thibaut Pino for the jersey, but Tom Dumoulin is slowly trying to bring him, uh, well, to bring Chris and him. Back in the main group, uh, Warren is struggling with the energy. We're gonna wait a bit. Uh, wait, because that, that would be five, eight. That would be top. The top ten would be here. So I'd be eleventh uh, right now with uh, with Warren. Okay. Alaphilippe doing a very good climb. Um, Thirty-one seconds. Dumoulin and Froome have literally dropped. I think the yellow jersey is gonna be between Thibaut Pino and uh, and Jakob Pulsang as we start the descent. Both of them on the best descenders here, but Thibaut seems to be struggling with energy. Um, Quintana got dropped. That's that's surprising, like really surprising. Warren at the summit, three minutes behind uh, Jakob Pulsang, and now it's time to pace in the descent. Give everything you've got. Um, Pulsang, Martin, Pino, here. Chris is the best descender out of the five riders. You might be able to like reel him in. You have to see. If the group ahead like doesn't go too f like too quickly, maybe Chris has a chance to come back. Uh, that would be good for the yellow jersey. But it'd be good for the drama of this tour not to have him coming back. Jesus Christ, that's a steep end. Wow. And that Martin gets the win from Jakob Pulsang and Thibaut Pino, Froome and Dumoulin. But jeez, that's steep. Like steep. Yates, Reichen, Reichenbar, nice, nice finish from Reichenbar. Kroivak, Julian Lafilippe, Romain Bardet, Warren Barguil, who's going to overtake, um, most, who's going to be overtaken, sorry, by Romain Bardet. Uh, Alessandro De Marque, Kutkowski, Quintana, and Genius are going to fight for the top 15. He may not have been the strongest during the climb, but he for sure was the fastest in Saint Michel de Morien. Dan Martin. Gets the win for UAE Emirates. He's finish, uh, he finishes around the same time as Jakob Fulsong and Thibaut Pinot. Chris Froome, uh, the yellow jersey, finishes about 26 seconds uh, behind the three first riders. Uh, and he keeps his yellow jersey 12 seconds ahead of the Dane Jakob Fulsong, 17 ahead of Dumoulin, 19 ahead of Pinot. Adam Yes, Dan Martin, Kroivak, Alaphilippe, Reichenbach, and, and Romain Bardet is your top 10 um, for the GC at the dawn of the Queen stage of this, uh, of this Dauphiné Libéré. The mountain jersey is going to be won by Guillaume Martin, who's now one point ahead of Nathaniel Beran. Um, Miral Kutkowski is still wearing green, uh, with Thibaut Pinot coming back, um, slowly but surely, on, uh, on the Polish uh, rider. Yanni Morskon is still wearing white and is probably going to bring the jersey home, with Tim Ineos still the best team. Um, it's a disappointing stage, because uh, I've used a lot of energy with Warren uh, before the third category climb here. And also, I had no teammates. And also, I got blocked. I think if I hadn't been blocked, I could have stayed with like Bar uh, with Bardet and Alaphilippe. I think uh, I would have enjoyed that because I'd, that's going to be tough now to gain a position. I'm going to need one of the guys ahead to have a massive failure or Warren to be on an incredible day, which both situations could happen. Um, 
But yeah, that was it for the sixth stage of the Dauphiné Libéré between saint vulba plain de lin and Saint-Michel-de-Maurienne. Uh, tomorrow is the Queen stage between saint genis les villages and Les sept Um And I'm hoping for a better day from Lorraine. Um, was there any retirements today? Let's see. Yep, Geoffrey Souffre. Ah yeah, because Cofidis only has three riders. Um, Alright, if you enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. And smash a like down below, that would really help me out. Uh, also, get involved in the comments down below. Uh, if you want to play with this uh, Dauphiné Libéré, then please consider downloading the World DB. The link is in the description down below. Like, everything is down below. Um, and yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for the Queen stage. But uh, I've been Black War. It's been an absolute pleasure talking to you today, guys. And goodbye. Pull up, pull up in the gold, I'm bleeding. But the mother man need feeding. I don't wanna go bombi. Them, I don't know what I do when I go from bleeding. Leading the pack in black, and I'm on with the bad. Snapping with a phone and dab. Boss up a man with a duster. Put him in a drip and sip, blockbuster.